They did. Big Mac fries and a Coke. Brown <laughs> bag in it at 25 miles. Rip your snow cone at mile 90. It was, uh, it was an adventure. And then coming in at the end of the bike, you come in and I hear this music. And I'm like, what's going on? My crew had a bamboo mat laid out and they had a, a boom box. And they're like, how about a massage? Like, you know what? I am really tight right now after 112 miles on that bike. Oh, and I had flat proof tires on there, solid rubber tires, because I didn't know how to change a flat. So my <laughs> neck is sore, my back is sore. I got a 45-minute massage between the bike and the run. And then it was off on the marathon. And now I'm playing with house money because I thought I was going to finish this thing in two days. I'm already off the bike ride and still light out. So I'm running along. And again, no roads are blocked off. And they had scales on the course. You had to get off your bike, and then during the run, if you lost 5% of your body weight, they weighed you before the race. If you lost 5% of your body weight, they pulled you out of the race. And they, so did, that the they did that for quite a few years, didn't they? Yes, they did. Yeah. So I get on. Uh, that's what makes John Howard's time in 1980 even more impressive, the fact he got off his bike four times to do yeah. it. 